as I said earlier, I've got quite the story. So, kind of told you a little bit there and let you know some of my family, family history, and there are a lot of them are out here. Uh, got the Pas Passantino side. My grandfather Passantino had six daughters, my grandmother being one of them. And she also had Mamie Passantino, Bessie Passantino, my aunt, this is my grandmother, my great grandmother, Andy Passantino, my great grandfather, Joseph Passantino, my aunt, Cangilla Capra, and here is my aunt Pauline Siragusa, her husband, Joseph Siragusa, and baby Joseph Siragusa. And here's my cousin Pete Carrillo. He passed away not too long ago. Pete was a really nice kid. Peter Moley, my uncle Pete. He had uh, Moley Strifway up on Lexington Boulevard. Mike Moley and Josephine Moley. And here's the headstone. Back in the uh, 30s and 40s, my uh, grandfather Passantino bought plots for everybody here. And this is my aunt, this is the Cinemanos. My Aunt Rosie Cinemano, there's her date there. There's my cousin Anthony Cinemano, he passed away. My Uncle Ralph Cinemano, he's gone. There's Aunt Rosie's, there's Anthony there, Cinemano. And over here, some very special people, the Lombardos. My Uncle Frank Chicho Lombardo, and my Aunt Rara Rosie Lombardo. They were very special people. They always treated me, treated me nice, were always good to me. Never treated me like I was anything but family. And let's walk over here. I may be missing somebody. My grandmother, Mary Scola. She's buried here. She's the daughter of my grandpa, uh, grandpa Pasatino back here. And there's a Joseph Carulla. He died in 2008. Catherine Pisano, Abruzzo. And I'm probably missing a few people, but over here is another person that was I've known for a long time. He passed away, and this is my cousin Lonnie Carson. He was a Vietnam vet, Marine Corps. This is headstone. There's the Pendergast headstone there for their family. As I said, my, my grandfather back in the 30s, um, during bootlegging, he decided to, uh, you might turn lemons into lemonade, turn whiskey into prohibition, gave people what they wanted. Fortunately, him and some of my other relatives, um, they reached the same end, so to speak. Uh, but my grandfather, Pasatino, was a straight, straight up guy. He worked hard all his life and provided for his daughters. Three of his daughters' husbands had the same fate, and uh, they had to make do in a period of time when being a single mother with kids was unheard of. But my grandfather, Passantino, made sure that they all were always taken care of. And those values were passed down to my family. My father was a World War II vet. Uh, he was in Normandy. He was in the Battle of the Bulge. He was in Belgium. He was in the Hurricane Forest conflict on the way to Bulge. He was in Germany. Stand-up guy. And um, they got married. They had a little bit of money. He was brought up dirt poor in a little town called Thayer, Missouri. He had a dirt floor house and he made something of himself through hard work and dedication doing the right thing but this is my story and it's their story and through me I'm gonna tell their story a lot of stories never got told a lot of wrongs are gonna be righted or I don't know if they'll be righted but you know what the truth will be out here before too long and um, I'll just throw some facts 
out as things go with this, these videos I'm going to produce on this. And I'll let you guys decide. But this is their story. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, and uh, I'm going to cut this off from here.